All multiple choice questions for paper one. This should be easy because the answer has to be A, B, C, or D. Like other educators, I am uncomfortable with the relaxed notion about the upcoming 2021 paper one for the CSEC biology and CSEC chemistry. It needs to be treated with the utmost seriousness. For full disclosure, Extra Time Tutoring offers annual marathons, not just for CXC for paper two, but also marathons for paper one as well. Like other educators, my interest is in you, the student. You being a successful science student, you being able to optimize your exam result with the most distinguished grade. Here's a game plan. Firstly, let us look at the overall weight of scoring for the entire subject of biology and chemistry. So here you can see for the CSEC chemistry that the weights of your papers and your profile would be as follows. So you are tested on your knowledge and comprehension skills, use of knowledge, and your experimental skills. Um, your experimental skills will contribute 20% of your grade. Your ability to use your knowledge contributes 37%, and your knowledge and comprehension, 43%. Now you have already completed paper two, which is marked out of 100, and it will contribute approximately 50% of your grade for your final grade. Now your paper one, which consists of your multiple choice for chemistry, will have 60 questions and will contribute 30% of your grade, your final grade. And I want to remind you that in the exam, you will be tested on all the topics, not only the broad topics that came on paper two. So please be reminded that there are three sections for the CSEC chemistry, states of matter. And as you can see here, we have 11 topics which fall underneath section A, and all these topics will be tested on the MCQ. Then you have your section B, which covers your organic chemistry, which has three topics. And then you have section C, which covers six topics. So there are a total of 20 topics that you should prepare for for your CXC multiple choice paper. And as it concerns the CXC biology, the weighting is very similar to how the chemistry was done. Your experimental skills contribute 19.5%. Your use of knowledge contributes 32.5%. And your knowledge and comprehension, 48%. Now, you would have already completed paper two, which is scored out of 100, and it will contribute 50% of your total grade. And your multiple choice, which will be marked out of 60, will contribute 30% to your final grade. And also for the biology, you will be tested on all the topics in the syllabus. And you also have three sections of biology. Section A, section A consists of eight topics as outlined here. Then there is section B, which has a total of 21 topics. And there is also section C, which has a total of six topics. So you are looking at a minimum of 36 topics for biology, which will be tested on your MCQ paper. So guys, do not wait until after the exams to be saying that you were surprised to see something in paper one. That would be too late. This means in the upcoming days, you need to gather up your study material. It's now time to get seriously focused on getting the maximum score in these multiple choice exams. I know you have been under pressure over the last few days, but do not give in now. Prepare for the highest score. Share with us in the comments how you're going to be preparing in the days leading up to these multiple choice exams. And give this video a thumbs up if you think the following two tips will work for you. Either way, take these tips seriously. Tip one, review all your notes. I know this is very crucial in paper one. I know that your teacher would have given you the same advice I have given my students in our small group tutoring classes. Take notes, take notes, and read over your notes. These notes are what will give you the sense of discernment to spot those tricky questions. Having a higher sense of judgment rather than closing your eyes and picking between A and C because they're so close, that would be giving away free marks. The next important tip in your biology and chemistry exam preparation is to practice, practice and practice. 
practice completing the paper at least 20 minutes before the time so you can look over your answers. Do not spend too long on one question. Note that difficult question and then return to it after you have finished the paper. Full disclosure again, this is what extra time marathons are about. Regardless, you must take paper one seriously. Think of it as being in a 100 meter finals in the Olympics. Think of it as being in the finals at the World Cup. You, yes you, you must get serious about getting the maximum scores on paper one. And I plead with you, take this one seriously.